Hey guys, uh, yep. After the unboxing itself, yeah, I've actually Joe broken the uh, iPhone SE uh, running iOS 12.1.2 itself. So please don't upgrade the version if you plan to do the uh, jailbreak itself. So after this, I'll show you the step-by-step -step guide on how to uh, do the jailbreak itself. Uh, just a very easy way to do it. And as well as installing tweaks uh, for your iPhone X gesture navigation. So as you can see now, when I open up the thing, I can just use a gesture navigation to open it up. Then I can actually just go open up uh, other apps. Close it. Continue. Close it. And open up App Store, close it, right? So, when you go to half screen, you can see all the app. I can dismiss the app this way, right? So, this is iPhone X navigation, uh, gesture navigation on the iPhone SE itself. And I think it's a pretty good option so that they will actually lessen the use of the buttons itself to ensure that every, uh, it won't actually die so fast. So okay, um, without further ado, let's just get on to the process of jailbreaking the phone and as well as installing tweaks for this. Uh, as you can see now, the version when I got the phone is at 12.1.2 which is eligible for the jailbreak. So uh, there is an update on 12.2 itself so basically I do not have any software update downloaded so please make sure that you don't have any software that is downloaded if there is you can just go to the iphone storage and delete off that particular downloaded jailbreak uh downloaded updates make sure nothing is in there so once that is done you can just open up safari and go to ignition.fun and go right then um what you can do is to search okay once you are in the app uh, the site itself what you can do is do a use now then you need to search for the app which is you can type in here and search for and c0 b e r then so you can see there is a app and cover there you should basically download that okay install so yeah it's actually installing now so basically on a day you will need to actually go and check on your home screen to see when that's the progress of that so as you can see um, there is a ignition app downloaded just now so it's either you use app or use a web it's up to you so once you have the app ready so like um, you can just tap on it uh, cancel so you need to go to your sorry i forgot about step general device management then you need to trust right you can just trust this so once it's done you can just go back to your home screen then go and launch this again then you can just tap on the jailbreak button uh, it might run more than once uh, It'll be exploited a few times um, i mean like uh, reboot a few times so if you happens to fail or something like that you just need to restart the process again as you can see now the phone has been re re rebooted so you can actually just tap on this again and run the jailbreak again there might be another reboot after this so you just see if you get restarted with the uh, circling indicator most probably that it's uh, successful one so you just need to wait for it to complete as you can see there is a circle circle indicator for now so it means it's successfully jailbroken bro bro so yep okay now we are back to as you can see now Cydia is actually installed yep you have Cydia so yeah this two app it, uh, ultimately I think ignition you can just uh, delete it off I don't think we need it Right. Uh, yep. Yep. So once that's done, yeah, then we can go to install tweaks now. Okay, so once you have the CDR install updated and stuff, you can just click on CDR and search on home gesture. This will enable iPhone X uh, gesture into the device itself so that you don't need to use the home button. Uh, like I said, this has been very fragile, so if you can use the gesture, it will be pretty good. So what we need to do is just to install it. 
and then uh, confirm uh, that you need Spark Atlas. Okay, basically um, the missing portion will be the Spark Atlas, as you can see here. Spark Atlas. So what we need to do is to click on the CD link so that we can install the sources. So when you click on it, then just put install source, updating source. Once they get updated, you should be able to install the home gesture tweaks itself. So you can return to Cydia and go back to search for home gesture and just click on install again. And yeah, you have all this, then you just confirm it and this thing will be running. So it's reloading now and we need to restart the springboard in order for it to work. So let's just restart it and see how everything goes. Uh, by the look of it, I think um, this phone, the reason why I'm getting this is because this is the last read of uh, iPhone which is of this size and stuff. Just wait a minute. Okay, as you can see now, once you have installed that, you can just go to your general settings. As that is the setting page, just go to your setting page and home gesture. So this one basically will be able to give you some of the stuff you can do like app feature. You turn it on and off and stuff then uh, blacklisting yep and um, control center how you want to do it and yeah there's tons of stuff that you can actually try here so uh, for to enable the experience of the um, iPhone X uh, gesture navigation in your iPhone SE so yep that's all I have for today guys so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification bell so that you can get updated in the, any future videos. So that's all for today guys. I uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye!